Hey guys, so we just got our 4K monitor. We just got our new graphics card. You can check out the graphics card video too that we just did on the 1660 Super. It's really cool. So we adjusted all the settings. We got everything set up. And then once we went to go do some work, we went into Premiere Pro and Photoshop and we noticed something. If you take a look at this, so right when we click it, you see how small the text is? And you see how small all the scaling is, all the toolbars is. Look how far down I can go. You see all the lettering? It's hard to read everything. Well, the boxes actually aren't too bad. But the lettering up here, everything is scaled so bad. You can tell it's not really the window scaling because you can see how everything else. And the desktop looks like a regular size as well. So what's going on with this? So we took a look at it and it looks like it's a DPI setting. That's not just based on Windows, it's in the Adobe programs, both of them. So if you do this also in Premiere Pro, you get the same thing for what we're doing. So I actually found a little trick that we can do. And let me show you. So you want to go into where it's installed. So you go to the C drive, you go to program files, you go to Adobe, and then you can do it for either one. If we're doing the Photoshop right now, but um, if you have a problem with Premiere Pro, you can do Premiere Pro as well. So you're looking for the application itself. So we're going to scroll down and we see Photoshop.exe. All you need to do is right click it. You go to Properties. And there's a bunch of tabs. The tab you want to hit is Compatibility. And here it is. So you see the Change High DPI setting. We want to make sure we click that. And it says High DPI Scaling Override. Now it's default, it's going to look like this. It's going to have a no checkbox and it's going to gray out application. You want to override the DPI scaling behavior. And we're not going to set it by the application. We're going to be set it by the system. And the system is going to talk about Windows and how it's scaled and everything. So once you click that, now you hit OK. And then you hit Apply. And now we hit OK. So let's go check to see if that actually fixed everything. So we're going to click Photoshop, and now you can see it definitely looks normal now. All the letters look better. Everything kind of looks like the way it used to be before. If you have Premiere Pro as well, you can do the same thing. You just go to Premiere Pro EXE and then go to the same exact setting. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Please like this video if you found this very helpful. Please leave a comment if you found other applications that this works as well. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a good one. Bye.